All right, don't usually do a video on a Tuesday, but we're gonna do a special one to discuss why I'm such a misogynist. Just kidding, I'm not, but we're gonna talk about it anyway. First, slide your finger over, hit the subscribe button. Okay, um, hit the notification bell too, so when I do these uh, things, you'll get notified, and like, and share, and all that good stuff. Okay. So we're gonna do a quick video today because I had a female friend and supporter ask me recently, I, you know, I really like your video. Well, she said, I really like your videos. You make a lot of great points. Um, I can see you really wanna help people, but you're not a woman hater, are you? <laughs> that was the question. So here's the thing. <laughs> See, how deep do I want to get into this one? Well, first of all, no. Okay, no, I'm not a woman hater. Not a anyone hater, necessarily, okay? Um, the thing is, cold hard truths are always hard, harder to accept than comfortable BS. Comforting BS, we'll say, okay? So I can BS you and make you feel good and pat you on the butt and in the back and uh, you know, tell you all the things you wanna hear that isn't going to help you, or I can tell you the things that are going to help you, all right? The stuff that society puts out about women and female nature is not 100% truthful. Most of it, a lot of it is not. And the problem with that is it leads to the demise of relationships. It's very acceptable to talk about the some of the more savage or unfavorable nature of males, okay? I can go into any space and call men, you know, assholes, men are men are jerks, and everyone will pile on to that. There isn't that isn't courageous, that isn't gonna cause me any problem. But if I go into any space, especially certain spaces, and say something unfavorable about female nature, then everyone piles onto that. So most of you listening to my videos are being socially conditioned to think when I say something unfavorable about female nature, all right, because there are unfavorable things about human nature, man, met, that's including men, that's including women. All right. But when I say something unfavorable about women in general or a general truth, OK, there's the knee jerk reaction or the tendency to think that I I hate women. I'm hating on women or I have a problem with women. I don't. I have really good relationships with women in my life. I'm teaching men to behave in a way where they can have productive and good relationships with women in their lives, okay? I might have a lot of MGTOW listeners or a few, I really don't know the number, what the number would be. That being said though, I'm not promoting, I mean, if that's the way you wanna live your life, that's cool, but I'm not promoting living a life without women in it. Uh, I'm not promoting, I'm promoting having productive relationships with women, basically, right? For men to do that. And so I want, you know, women to thrive, be happy, and do well. I'm, I'm promoting for women to have productive relationships with men. Okay, that's the relationship side of what I do and most of my coaching. And I coach quite a few women, all right? I'd say 20, 25% of my clients are actually women. And they are doing better at the end of my coaching sessions very quickly. And the reason why is because I do cause them to, un to confront uncomfortable truths, sometimes about their own behavior, in order for them to be productive and be successful. And I do the same thing with men, but the, the thing is I can say unfavorable things about men on my channel. I can talk about beta men, men that don't do the, act and do things that are masculine. Well, that's pretty negative, isn't it? But nobody really gets up in arms about that. Nobody really questions it. Everyone accepts that as a face value truth, you know? But I say something unfavorable about, uh, unfavorable about women, like female opportunistic nature, 
or female's dualistic strategy, women's dualistic strategy, or women's ability to lie to themselves and how advanced that is, all right? These are things that are in evolutionary psychology. These are things that are proven to be true, okay, in, in a general sense, all right? Um, the pragmatic or opportunistic nature of women and how they approach relationships is an ingrained thing, and that's true. That's not good or bad, it just is. But, you know, it's not the fairy tale that gets promoted, so people might think, oh, you know, you're a misogynist. And if you go to talk about these, if you get truths from my material and other people out there who are putting out uncomfortable truths, and you talk about them in your social circles, you might get ostracized, frowned upon, women might question it, because we are in a gynocentric society right now, which means that we're revolving around and the feminine. And a lot of women who wanna play the victims don't like to admit that that's true, but it is. Because the group you can't criticize without catching flack is usually the ones who are running the show. And so right now it's, you know, men are sort of running the show, but in a, from a societal perspective, we, you know, fem we are deferring to um, the feminine, all right? And any criticism on the feminine is usually met with um, hostility, all right? But here's the problem with that. And I'm not here to crit just criticize women on my channel. But the problem with that is, if we're gonna talk about truths about male and female nature so we can have productive relationships and so people can be happier with each other and people can meet the right people for them and have happy, you know, happy productive lives, right? <laughs> we have to confront these things. And so it does me no good to lie to you, it does me no good to BS you, it might get me more views, it might get me not ostracized on YouTube, the reason why I don't have more subscribers, even though my content is uh, pretty good, okay, is because a lot of my videos get blacklisted. Just simply saying men and women are different blacklists my videos sometimes, all right? It's the truth. And so, you know, I'm not a misogynist. I, I, I care about men and women. I want people to have more productive relationships. But I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm not going to allow female shaming tactics to cause me to change, change my opinions or to alter the truth to make you feel more comfortable. Okay? And see right there, saying the words female shaming tactics, that's going to trigger some people. And these are the types of things I say that trigger people. But I don't care. And I'm not going to change it. Because female shaming tactics is a tactic. And it's a tactics that females use in society, and it works. And there's reasons why it's being used. So this, that's what I'm saying. It's a truth. Okay, it's a truth. There's times when males shame too, but, you know, the, the, the words female shaming tactics, that, that's a real thing. And so I'm not going to censor that because you don't like the way it sounds. So if you want the truth bombs, okay, if you want... If you want, you want the truth so that you can have productive relationships with women, you need to be, or productive relationships with men, if you're a woman and you're listening to this and you have not had good luck in your relationships, things have not been going well for you for most of your life when it comes to these, these matters, or if you have friends, okay, and family where that is the case, you need to turn tune into what I'm saying. You need to listen to the truth that I'm telling you. Okay, I'm telling you things that are not just opinions out of my own head, but these are researched opinions, most of them, all right? They're researched opinions, and sometimes it's going to be favorable to your gender, and sometimes it just isn't, and that's okay. I'm not, there's, I don't, I hope, I know people will use these things for the wrong reasons, I can't help that, but I am not promoting or judging men or women because of their natures, but I am going to tell the truth about those natures. And that's going to lead some people to question my motives. But if you stick around and pay attention, as most of the women's female supporters I have have done, you'll see that my intentions are to help everybody have productive relationships regardless of gender. 
So I hope that makes sense. And I hope that, you know, eases some of your consciousness or whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, I appreciate the support and keep, keep it up. <laughs> Take care.